Hi everyone, welcome to Preferred Tarot, where I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to get into a reading for the sign of Libra. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you guys would like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this reading, okay? So, um, as I was just pre-shuffling here, the Knight of Pentacles did fall out. So, um, you guys are gathering information, getting things together, taking your time before either accepting or making an offer or you guys have been waiting on it on an offer that's capricorn towards virgo energy slow motion but for show motion okay but what messages do you have for the sign of libra please and thank you we have a few falling out already we have the ace of pentacles the judgment card the six of wands and the six of pentacles um First of all, you're going to you're you're going towards success, or um, yeah, you're doing accepting this idea or this gift that you have within you in order to create some type of success, success and victory in your life. Okay, um, you've decided you've decided to um, put in the work, or I feel like I heard course correct. So I feel like you you've shifted your energy or you're shifting your energy in order to receive the things that you want that that you truly want in life. Um I feel like you're open to new ideas. Okay, let me get some more messages though. Well, I already didn't, didn't even read these cards. <laughs> I was just kind of filling this out. Nine of Swords is coming out though. You being worried, anxious about this new opportunity give me a second libra we have um a gift an offer it's time for you to make a decision about it okay or you know you have to make a decision about this you know it's something about your success about you receiving the the, the recognition that you deserve maybe you you finally realize that something that you have within you can lead to that victory right um even though you may have been worried about the energy that you've put into it so far, the King of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. This is like what you're expecting or this could be like a father figure or someone may be worried about a father figure or this could be a father figure worried about you or you're being um, gifted with something like help. Okay, so someone may be offering help. Well, you felt like you probably wasn't receiving the help or you felt like it wasn't going to come or something like that. All, all of a sudden, it comes through. More messages for Libra. Okay. Five of Wands. There's that battle. The Eight of Cups. And the King of Pentacles did try to fall out. I'm taking it. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so someone is deciding to walk away from an argument or, or a fight. You're done with it. You That's where you're walking towards this success. Because you're tired of fighting. You're tired of arguing. You're uh, ready to be grounded and set in um, your finances. Or, yeah. You're ready to sit pretty in your finances. Or, you, 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 know, you know that you've invested enough that you enough time or you've saved enough that you can relax or you're let me this is what it is you're thinking more about longevity you're thinking about family you're thinking about opening up to i guess having a family so some of you guys may not have a family already um this could also be you using Using something small and you turn it into big, into something big. So that investment has turned into um, plenty of profit, right? What's the Ace of Pentacles? The Ten of Wands. Yeah. You've been carrying some burdens, but you knew that you, you knew that, that you will receive a gift as the outcome you knew that you will be victor that you will be victorious you knew that um 
this is coming to me to whom uh, much is given much is required okay so you know a lot was required from you or you know that a lot will be required from you in order to get to that king of pentacles status that i feel like you're trying to get to if not if you're not there already like you're able to help Man, okay you know what i feel like you're able to help and then but it's others around you that may be unsatisfied what's the judgment card the Knight of Swords, communication. So you, you receive some type of communication that you really didn't want to hear. You don't really want to accept it. But you're being called to not give up. To um, continue to allow things to grow. What's the Six of Wands? Or you feel like something is taking off quickly. What's the Six of Wands, please? After you make, after you make this decision, something takes off quickly. The two of pentacles, and then we have the ace of wands. So it's something about your work, your career. Um, you was going back and forth about the idea, but this idea leads you to that success or everyone sees. They see you doing something here that you're inspired to do, and um, you give them inspiration. So you help motivate them, right? Mo motivate others. We have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. You following your intuition about this. The Star card, Renewal, Hope, and Faith. And the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Um, what's the Six of Pentacles here? Okay. I kind of felt the Tower of Energy. I don't know. I, I must have said something that made me feel this way. Um. Yeah. Because of the success card here, I was feeling feeling it as if you guys been through some challenging times. Then we have the Ten of Wands here. But anyways, then the Nine of Swords also. But the Tower card did fall out. <laughs> the Three of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. So no, those aren't smelling cards. Nothing to be happy about. But I feel like it, because of you going through those things and that transformation and clearing out old ways and allowing things to um, fall apart that is not built on the stable foundation, you're about to receive something that you that you truly deserve, okay? After being out in the cold, after, um, yeah, see, work, career, you're about to be happy and successful, I feel. People will be inquiring about you. Moving on, what's the Nine of Swords? The Wheel of Fortune, and we also have the Strength card. Beautiful. So, you know what? I feel like the Strength card did come out first, honestly. So, I, what I would say is, um, even when, where, when you're feeling worried, down, depressed, um, where you feel like, look, where you feel like you're about to start worrying, <laughs> and it's some type of anxiety is coming up, try to shift that energy and think about something that's going to bring you some type of uh, peace, pleasure, excitement, joy. Because things are going to change, things are um, things are shifting. Regardless, it's like you're required to have strength in the situation in the midst of these changes. Okay, so don't worry too much. Go to source with those worries and let it go. Six of Cups, maybe someone from the past that you may be confused about, or something about your past that um, you felt like. You may have been through some confusing situations, or you had a lot of mixed emotions in the past. But you're, you're being called to face those fears. Allow the past to be the past and go towards something brand new. Because it's like you, you, you're you you're clearing out some, some karma. Yeah. Anyways, what's the five of wands? Clarify the five of wands. The knight of pentacles did fall out. On top of the five of wands, the two of swords, indecisiveness, or not being able to see the, the big picture. Feeling like um, you were walking through darkness, but there's light at the end of the tunnel. And I feel like you knew this, um, but you just have to take your time. You just have to make sure you're doing the, doing the right things, analyzing the situation, making sure you're dealing with, you, you were involved with the right, right people. I feel like um, in due time, it's like you you end up realizing who's for you and who's actually competing with you, or you may have realized this already, okay? What's the Eight of Cups? Um, I'll take this. We have the Two of Cups, the King of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. Didn't really feel right when it fell out, but um, I'll take it. Or should I just go? Anyways. 
some of you guys are walking away from a soulmate connection or someone who you feel like you're saying eye to eye with. But at the same time, this could also, this could also be someone walking away. Yeah, there was a solid connection. The The connection can, could still be solid because I feel like this could be like a parent, father, mother, king of, king of swords, queen of pentacles, ace of cups, but you're going towards um, self-love and um, celebration. Maybe reconnecting with someone, a recon reconciliation or whatnot, but I feel like you're recognizing the gifts within you and you're honoring that, you're celebrating that. You're showing the world that energy, I feel. Well, that's what you're going towards, right? What's the King of Pentacles? The Hermit card, and we also have the Knight of Cups. Oh, so someone's thinking longer and harder than maybe um, showing love, showing affection, attention, going out on dates, the Page of Swords. Yeah, someone may be watching you, or you may be watching someone closely. Virgo energy. So we have Virgo energy, Leo energy. Um... Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. Let's see, get some more messages though. What's the tower card? Talk about the tower card for the sign of Libra. So someone may be thinking about getting back out on the scene. So we have the Nine of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles falling out on top of the tower. So all of a sudden there may be a shift in your um in your career, what you're working on. Seven of Swords. Maybe there was some type of lies, deception, someone trying to get away with some something, something trying to keep you in your head. But I feel like it's all temptation to try to keep you back from you making the right decisions. Yeah. It may be a connection or whatever that someone can't stop thinking about all in their head. There, there's a need for some type of healing, forgiveness. Yeah. Making it truce. Truths making amends. Anyways, what's the strength card for for Libra? Page of Cups. There's an apology, and we have the Chariot card. Or this could just be you opening up to to um new love, life, opening back up to life after being worried, knowing that you're gonna having the strength to push forward, having the strength to to know that um there will be better times ahead. Even when, like I said, you're worried, things are changing. The share of your card is taking the reins of your life, taking control of your life. Even when you feel like it's a lot of chaos, we do have the tower card. Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, and we have the four of wands. This could be, okay, honestly, if you like, if, it, if it's a relationship or someone, something, um, I'm going to just spill a bean. Someone's thinking about like marriage or, and how to approach this. Someone's thinking about um, engagement. Really thinking long and hard gain a new perspective enlightenment about this connection or whatnot okay what's the will card what's the will oh did i do that already no what's the will clarify the will mm -hmm. the emperor this person has changed there was a lot of worry and doubt like i was saying already i said that several times and this could be from a masculine energy or from the masculine energy within the masculine energy within you male or female whatever it had a lot of worry and doubt, but I feel like someone's ready to take the initiative, take the, um, um, do the right things. The Queen of Wands here at the bottom of the deck, the Star card, the High Priestess, Renew Hope and Faith. And following one's intuition about communication, about pushing forward, about reaching out. I said something like that already, but I, someone's definitely watching. If you're not in communication with a certain individual, a person is watching from the far, from afar. Like I said, I did feel like someone is um, going to be inquiring about you. It doesn't really have to be about intimacy or whatnot. It could be anything, okay? You bossing right up. But Aries, Taurus energy with the Emperor, Cancer energy with the Chariot. Someone's okay. You know what? Someone here, if it's like a relationship, this masculine energy. Or just be in your, your career. You're ready to just you're ready to just bombard the competition, like take over, full control. You know your power. Anyways, what's time required? Um, I don't really like the way it flipped out in reverse, but we have the page of wands and the temperance card. So, um, It's time to make a move on some idea. I kind of want to, let's see. Let's shuffle and see what else comes out. 
I could have read it. It doesn't feel right. I didn't know if it really wanted to come out in reverse or not. Uh, clarify the hermit. Oh, so the moon in reverse. This is about facing your fears. And not allowing temptation to get to you. And, and you feel like... Um, uh, Maybe we're sitting back thinking long or hard that think something wasn't possible, that something wasn't going to work out, but that was just temptation. Like I said, for you to not take this different approach forward, for you to not make a move, the moon card is like, hmm, whatever, something being something that was hidden is being revealed. Now I can't remember the other two cards that came out, but maybe something that's being hidden is being revealed with the moon card in reverse. Or someone sitting too deep in their emotion. What's the moon in reverse? Make it clear, please. Why is the moon in reverse here? Oh, I'm dropping cards. Look, I didn't want to read the two that came out in reverse. And now I have four. So we have the higher friend card. We have the three of wands. It was for a reason. The queen of cups and the em empress. Yep. Teaching and learning experience. About one being afraid to follow one's heart. Dealing with the emotions of the feminine energy. Balancing out. Okay, so now I remember those cards. It was the temperance card temperance card, and the page of wands in reverse. So there was an imbalance. All right? Imbalance of the masculine and the feminine energy. And someone was afraid to deal with that. Sit in that energy and understand that there needed to be a shift. There needed to be a balance. There needed to that there, there was a need to go to source for that guidance. So you can have that brand new beginning here with the Empress card. But like I said, it could be a relationship. We have the Emperor and the Empress. The higher thing here. I wouldn't be surprised if I shuffle some more cards and the high priestess comes out. So a divine connection or someone just ascending. Um, what's the chariot? The five of swords and the six of swords. Yeah, it's just time to move on. In like conflict, arguments, bickering, four of cups. You don't want to deal with it. You just want to get away and have fun and enjoy yourself. I get that. What's the emperor card? Four of wands. Yeah, this person is thinking about marriage. Masculine energy here at the king of cups. How they truly feel about this queen of cups that's sitting right here. Someone is healing. And realizing what they truly want. What's the higher fence? It's in the pentacles. That's the truth. I'm getting the chills right now. That's the truth. Someone's thinking about longevity right now. With this idea, with this gift, putting in the work, doing what you have to doing what you have to do. Clarify the Empress. I'm done. Like. Come on now. We're closing out the pain. It's like it's at, that's at the bottom of the deck. You don't want to deal with it anymore. The Ten of Cups comes out on top of the Empress. Success. Wish fulfillment. The Ten of Pentacles here. Come on come on now. You're walking away from the Five of Swords. You don't want to argue anymore. You just want to close out what was. Like all the BS behavior. We're going to something better here. I like it. I like it. So you becoming better so that you can receive something better. Beautiful. Let's read one of these messages from before agreements. And then maybe I'll pull one of one of these oracle decks. Okay. What else do you have for the sign of Libra, please? What else do you have for the sign of Libra? Some, some of you guys may have um, been ghosted. You was hurt. Haven't talked to someone, went through some hard times, and things are about to shift for you. Things are about to shift for you. Someone's been watching you. People have been watching you. You're about to be seen, noticed, and recognized if if it's not happening already, okay? For exactly who you are. What else do you have for the sign of Libra? Thank you. Come on now. All the magic you possess is based on your word. And you cast spells all the time with your opinions. You can either put a spell on someone with your word or you can release someone from a spell. And this is be, in, be impeccable with your word. Become a white magician. So you got the power in your words. You have the power in your words. And I feel like you've been working on it. And that's why you're creating all this good stuff in your life. And that's what you're attracting, I should say. Um, 
Excuse me. Star seed. That's what I'm being called to. Star seed oracle for my Libras. What else do we have? For the sign of Libra. I may not read it. Actually read the um, oracle. That could be part of the book, but let's see half what I feel from the cards. <laughs> What else do you have for Lib from for Libra? One more time. Message for the sign of Libra. Make it clear. Thank you. Trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. All right. And then at the bottom of the deck, it says jump in. Adventure. Say yes to change. And that is Andro Medin Energy. So um, I feel like, yeah, you jump in. Do what makes you excited. That pleases you or whatever. And trust the timing that everything will work out. And divine timing because I see someone worried about how things may play out or whatnot, but all of the all in the midst of you worry, things are shifting for the better. So yeah, that was your reading, Libra. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated, how it resonated. Leave a like, share all of that good stuff. I love you, I love you, I love you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.